What is good, y'all? Serial Films here, and today we are back at it with a, another video. Today we are reviewing Alien Gears Photon Light Bearing Holster for the Glock 43X. Before we do get started into today's video, I do want to say go ahead and check out Core Essentials. They make amazing gun belts. Use code Serial Films 10 and get yourself a 10% discount. I am running a giveaway with them, and if you want to be early joiner for the giveaway just all you need to do because there will be more requirements down the line but if you join right now within the week of this video dropping all i need you to do is drop giveaway just drop giveaway comment on this video and you will be entered into the giveaway they will be giving away a 1.5 inch gun belt so this is my current setup that i usually run right now it's the biggest piece of dog shit. i honestly don't know what kind of holster it is i bought it on ebay and um yeah, I bought it with the claw. I read on the eBay reviews that it was a really good holster. It just had a bad clip. This is a clip that I had on my old Springfield Echelon Armory holster. I just went ahead and put it on there. This hole, the retention on this holster right here is just absolutely amazing. Like, I've never had no issues with this holster. Like, the firearm slipping or anything of that nature. And it's, I get a lot of compliments. A lot of people like this holster. They like how it looks. They pretty much ask me where I got it from. And it's kind of hard to say where because it's like... Well, I got it from an eBay post that I can no longer find, and I threw a clip from another holster on there. So it's kind of hard whenever people ask me what kind of holster I'm running on there. It's kind of like, uh, kind of mismatched. So that is what I'm running now, and I do love this holster. I do not need a switch currently, but um, I did ask for this one from um, Alien Gear because I do want to run a sidecar here eventually. So some of the cool features about this is that it is ambidextrous, inner waistband, outer waistband compatible light and optic compatible sidecar ready you know that's what we want because i honestly don't want to be carrying with 10 rounds anymore i'll be carrying 20 rounds from now on at the minimum if i'm not carrying my g19 suppressor height sight compatible won't be using that threaded barrel compatible we needed that because i've been i've been debating whether or not to do a threaded barrel and then like you guys know it has adjustable retention adjustable cat so um that's pretty much all to it let's go ahead and get this opened up as you can see right here this for the Glock 43X, non-MOS with the TLR6. Uh, if you guys didn't know, these Alien Gear holsters come unassembled. So we're going to go ahead and throw that together and show you guys how the retention is. And then we'll go ahead and throw it on the waist with the Core EDC belt and do some draws. All right, so let's run some draws. Going to go ahead and it is clear. Just going to rack it so you guys can hear when my first click goes off after I actually pull. So I also don't have a timer, so I'm gonna just go ahead and be pulling on that magical beep in my head. So let's see how I do. Not bad. Comfort wise, do I print? I don't know, y'all let me know. Do I print? How does that print? G43X Streamlight TLR6. I am carrying appendix. How bad do I print? Um, I really don't worry about printing because I, as y'all can see, I am a smaller guy. I uh, do weigh about 145 pounds, so yeah. Let's go ahead and do another draw. Not bad. Like I said, I don't know if y'all can see, but right there reholstering, it ends up digging into the bottom of my gut right there. So that is my only concern with that holster. Other than that, I do believe that this holster is amazing. Y'all can see right now. I don't know if y'all can see with the angle of the camera, but I am sitting down right now. No problem pulling my firearm out. Putting it back in, I do have to kind of push that forward, that holster forward. But um, maybe it's just because I gained a few pounds here recently, but who knows. But yeah, I will be dropping a, a link to Alien Gear to this holster down below in my description. Make sure y'all check them out. They have a ton of amazing products, especially if you have a 43X. Like I said, I used to run my OEM 43X before I got the Streamlight just with this holster, this exact same holster. And I just actually recently got rid of it to a friend because I was like, well, I'm never going to use it again. So that's the only reason why I got rid of it and I had moved on to this. But now it's going to be a competition in between these two to see which one makes it into the everyday carry rotation. I know for sure this is going to be really hard to beat. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, go check out Alien Gear. Like, subscribe, and peace.